All right, what's up? Dave here with another exciting tutorial. And today I'd like to talk about opacity in Substance Painter. How to work it, how to find it, how to make it work, and also how to export it. A lot of kind of weirdness around this. So let's get started. So if I go to File, New. Um, now, if I bring in, if I have something like this, PBR Metallic Roughness, Alpha Blend, Starter Assets, this Alpha Blend means that it will work right off the gate and it'll give you opacity to work with. That'll make more sense in a second, but let's say if you did not choose that. Let's say if I chose something like the good old PBR Metallic Roughness. Notice it doesn't say Alpha Blend. Um, so if I chose that, and the reason that I'm choosing that is because this is going to be the most complicated to figure out how to get opacity to work with this, but like I said, if you chose something like PBR Metallic Roughness with um, Alpha Blend, it would work kind of right off the gate and you wouldn't really need to do this. But go ahead and kind of watch here and I'm also going to show how to export opacity at the end which is going to be the same no matter what you choose here. So if I go to File, I'll select my object and I'll just leave this alone, go to OK. Okay great, so here's my uh, object here. And let's say if I wanted to paint opacity right here on the window, okay? Well, if I look down here, I do not have opacity as a choice, okay? So the way that I'm going to add opacity is the same place where I bake my maps. So I'm going to go look here for texture set settings. You can see that they're not, it's not there. So it's going to be probably right here. And I can see that it is right here. So if it wasn't here, if I X out of here, it would be located over here. And there it is. Okay, cool. So if I click on that, bring it over here. And instead of going down here to my baking area, that's where I normally hang out, I can go up here to channels and hit this plus. And now I can add opacity. Notice that opacity is not in the list. It's on unsupported by shader. And there is the opacity. So you can see that it'll allow me to add opacity. But it's saying, hey, wait a minute, it's, it's not supported by this shader. So if I add opacity, now I can see that it's on my list here. And I'm going to turn everything off except opacity. Now, if I paint with opacity, you can see that there's one and there's black. Okay, so white and black should have an opposite effect. I can use this one to kind of swap. But I can see that it's not doing anything. But remember it said it's unsupported by the shader. So that means that I have to go into the shader settings. And in the shader settings, I'm going to select a shader that accepts opacity. And I want this one, PBR Metal Rough with Alpha Blending. Okay, now I can see that this shader now accepts the information that we're giving it. So you can see here that if I put this to black, now it'll, look, it'll accept opacity. Okay, and if I had kind of a percentage here, it'd be kind of a percentage of opacity. Okay, very cool. Now, you'll see that kind of makes sense now. So if I go to File, New, what it's saying is PBR Metallic Roughness, that's the shader and the fact that it's doing metallic and roughness. But if I chose this one, PBR Metallic Roughness Alpha Blend, what that's saying is that it's going to be metal and roughness, and Alpha Blend means that it's going to be this shader, this shader here, this Alpha Blend shader by default, and if they're saying, hey, if you're using that Alpha Blend shader, they're going to also plug in opacity here for you, and emissive, which I like because I feel like I usually use some some type of opacity or some type of omissive. I might say, well, why don't you always use that? Well, if you know for a fact that you're not going to be using opacity or emissive, and emissive, by the way, would be like lights or some type of glowing effect, then it might be slightly more optimized that, you know, it's not going to export those channels or something like that. It's not really that big a deal, but um, I always just use PBR Metallic Roughness with Alpha Blend. Um, to just kind of skip on those steps. So once you have that, now if you go to export textures, you'll notice 
that opacity doesn't come in this list here, which is kind of annoying. You're like, oh man, I, I spent all this time doing opacity. I plugged it in right. Why isn't it exporting? So what I found is the best way to export out, maybe there's a better way, but I feel like um, I suppose you could kind of plug it in here, but I feel like I don't mess around with that nonsense. I just go like this. File, export textures. Then I switch my output template to, I, I just go up to document channels plus normal plus AO with alpha. And then if I click on this, I can see that, yeah, sure enough, it's grabbing opacity here. So I can just X out of all of these. And now I just export out opacity. And that's kind of an independent map. So just kind of one extra step to just kind of make sure that opacity is added to the export. And then I just export it out, and then it's good to go. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, once again, if you have any questions, just put it in the comments below. Like, subscribe. Videos every week.